Good morning YouTube. I don't know if you can see that. The sun's coming through those clouds and it looks stunning. Hello, I've been away a while. Figured I'd come back and explain what the hell's going on. But firstly, I got a new bike. Can you tell? So I got a 2018 Yamaha XT1200Z Super Tenere and uh, still getting to grips with it. Only had it a couple of weeks. If you've been following my Instagram, you'll uh, you'll see the pictures. Absolutely loving it. It's rides like nothing else I've ridden uh, before. It's my first adventure bike. Um, great position to sit in. Lots good with it. I'm not going to attempt to review the bike I've had for five minutes. I'm not into that, but. Uh, yeah, I just want to get to know it and uh, bring you along with me. I had a little mini Instagram competition whereby I asked for potential names for the bike. Um, some, some suggestions were better than others. Fufu, not going to happen. Uh, Rambo from Motor Rev, that's my name. No, no, not mine. The one that I can't get out of my head Thank you to Mrs. Island Biker. Is tenor lady. That's not happening either. Anyway, I'm going to have to dispatch this scooter. Uh, but I have settled on a name. And I'll tell you what it is in a moment. This is a road I've never ridden before. I say I've never ridden before. I rode it yesterday when I found it. It basically joins Gurnard to uh, well Yarmouth really and it's a lovely bit of road. It'll be even better at a moment. I was waffling about some stuff. So, yes, I've been away a while. Uh, the reason for this is many fold. Um, firstly, a whole lot of stuff going on. I've moved house, trying to buy another house. Uh, work has been absolutely chaos, and 
you know, trying to combine all of that with some quality family time as well, it, it's been a challenge. Something had to give. Uh, and unfortunately, I had to take a step back from the channel. What I am really chuffed about is I've gained subscribers, not lost them over the last six months of not making videos. So firstly, all of those that have been there from the start, thank you so much for sticking around. You know, I'm not smashing out videos one a week. Just too much, can't do it. Thank you for hanging in there and waiting. Got some good stuff planned this year, so I promise I'll make it worth your while. The other reason I've been away is a little bit more sensitive. And I don't want to bore you with all the details. I don't want to make anybody feel uncomfortable. And it's a, you know, it's a, still a struggle to, to talk about. God, I love the noise this bike makes. That's not the issue. But I've just been, I've been struggling a bit uh, mentally. Is that the right word? Lots of anxiety. Found, you know a bit tough to get going, to be motivated, um, and then every, you know, everything was just getting on top of me. So the only place it didn't impact me was when I was riding the bike, but I just wanted to ride for me, I didn't want to talk to anybody, I didn't want to make a video, I just wanted to get out and ride and, and, and think, I guess, which is not always a good thing when you've got tons to think about. Anyway, tad of a waffle there. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I learned some very valuable lessons. Firstly, it's okay not to be okay. Secondly, you can be a big, roughy tufty ex-army biker um, and still not feel okay. And talk to someone. You've got to talk to someone. Goodbye. Morning. That's all right. It's a bit loud. I didn't want to spook you. There we go. Sorry, I got my flow interrupted then by letting a horse pass. I didn't want to spook the lady on the horse. I didn't want to spook the horse. I'm quite spooky. What was I waffling about? Not waffling. I'll go back to it. I'll say that again. It's a salient point. Talk to someone. Talk to people. Talk to me. I learned a few things going through the whole issue I was dealing with. And uh, I guess three things stick with me. First up is I can now see the top of the hill I'm climbing. Because it is an upward slope. It always will be. But I can see the top. Secondly is uh, lots of people are throwing me a rope to help me up. Friends, family, professionals, yeah. And thirdly, if the rope snaps, there's a safety net below me. So I'll leave it at that. Don't mean to be cryptic, but it's okay not to be okay. And if you're not okay, Christ's sake, talk to someone. Because it will get better. See? Now it's better. Let's talk about the future. Let's talk about the future. I haven't made a video for about six months. That's going to change. Uh, I'm not committing to making videos every week. I'll make them when I can, when I've got the time, when I feel the inspiration come upon me. Oh yeah, I'm still an idiot. But I've got some things planned this year. 
Uh, let's have a look. I'm not, I'll tell you them when they're all confirmed. But uh, we'll be getting out and about. We'll be getting the Super 10 overseas, maybe. Yeah, looking promising. Um, but yeah, lots, lots to come, lots to do, lots to see. So I'll be sure to make sure I capture all of those and make some unique videos. Oh, this road is so good. There's no one on it. It's already Saturday morning. Got to be careful though, um, I'm sure it's the same for the rest of the country, but last couple of weeks we've had some horrendous weather on the island. Uh, high, really high winds, so the roads are just greasy and rubbish. We've had a lot of flooding, uh, which has obviously cleared out all the drainage ditches and now all that stuff sits on the roads. So yeah, um, it's got to take it steady, but sometimes it's a bit hard to when the roads are clear and as good as this. Ah, I was talking about names, wasn't I? Talking about names. I had a lot of name suggestions for this bike. Black Betty was another one, I think. Tenor Lady. God, I can't get it out of my head. I've had a few people say Tenor Lady, most notably Mrs. Island Biker. Tenor Lady. Tenor Lady. Not happening. Not happening. So, for now, subject to change, I've settled on Tennessee. As in, you know, the place. No real connection, just kind of fits. However, I'm open to suggestions. That is a temporary name until something comes along. Normally, I let my boys name my bikes, but at the minute they're coming up things like Nighthawk and Avenger and Thunder Killer Bomber and... Uh, no, I don't really want to go down that road, thank you. So yeah, answers on a postcard, people. Oh, she sounds pretty. So I'm, at the moment I'm heading towards Newport. Uh, I'm probably gonna, I might spin a Yui, it's 9.39. Yeah, I might spin a Yui and go back along this road because it's just a great road. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do a U-turn somewhere legally and We'll talk a little bit more about the bike. Because I want to ride those roads again. Stop and take some pictures. So, um, not a review. I'm just telling you about my bike because it's new and I like talking about my bike. That's why we're here. Yamaha Super Tenere XT1200Z. This is not the one with the electronic suspension, which is the ZE, if you're interested in models. I think that in every other way, it's the same. So, 1200 twin with the whole 270 degree crank. Yeah, anyway, sounds great. Uh, six speed box, uh, comes pretty well loaded up, if I'm honest. You've got two modes, uh, touring and sports. I've been touring at the minute. Sports is a bit twitchy because this is a uh, throttle by wire. It's taken me getting used to not having the same resistance that you have with a cable. Well, this guy is delightful. Oh, sorry, you probably can't see it, but the crap coming out the back of his car is shocking. Let's see if we can get past him. Um, yeah, sports and touring modes. Uh, they do make a difference when you flick one between the other. There's a lot more response the throttle is much more aggressive in sports mode uh, touring mode works for me for the most part especially in stop and go traffic it can be quite twitchy cruise control uh, a good menu system heated grips integrated into uh, the same sort of switch gear so there isn't a like my FJR I've got a whole other button uh, this is just you select it on and off through the menu cruise control I've never had cruise control on a bike before I know I just said that a minute ago, but it's, um, man, it's weird. It's weird taking your hand off the throttle and the bike does not decrease speed. Um, but yeah, not had a whole lot of opportunity to 
engage cruise I will save that for the motorway be interesting to what you guys think of cruise control on a bike do you use it much so I appreciate I'm bumping around all over the place at the moment uh, with with very little direction into my mo mo videoing hopefully I'll be able to edit this in such a way as it won't just make you sound like a rambling lunatic there you go hopefully just avoided lung cancer Christ sort your car out fella that's a bit much wasn't it so I did say I'd moved house that feels like I should mention it um, I now live near cows on the island yes cows I said cows I'm gonna go back this way again because it's so good Ready? Oh, not to 60 in that, that long. Um, so yeah, I've moved to Cowes, which is a little bit further away from where I was, about half an hour from where I used to live in Ride. Uh, very, very stressful time. I've, I've not, I don't move house very often, as you can imagine. But uh, we, we've downsized. Uh, in preparation for moving into the house we're having built. Um, hopefully that will start happening soon and I can update you on the channel for those that are interested. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to that. Loving the new house, loving where we're now living. Right by the sea. I'm closer to the beach than I was before, which is cool. Morning. Uh, but yeah, it's good. Hopefully things are going to now settle down. Uh, I can get focused in on work, focused in on quality time with the family and uh, get some more rides in and videos in. So this was really just a quick ride to let you know that I'm still here, I'm still going, I'm still riding and thank you all for those that have stuck with me through the uh, through this quiet patch. Appreciate your support. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it there. With a a reminder, a poignant reminder. It's alright to not be alright. I've said that about three times in this video. But seriously, talk to people, reach out, ask for help. There you go. I've said it. Right. On that note, if you're new to the channel, welcome. There's a whole lot of history there. You should probably go back and watch some of my other videos. Uh, get to know me a little bit. Um, would love it if you subscribed. I'm easy either way. Um, but would also love it if you drop me a comment, say hi. I respond to most things and I'm going to continue to do that. So. You guys take care, stay shiny, enjoy the weekend, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.